Hi, I'm Dr. Chet Rehal, Chair of the Division of Cardiovascular Diseases at Mayo Clinic Rochester. Today I'm here with Dr. Randall Thomas, who's a director of our Cardiovascular Health Clinic, a cardiac rehabilitation specialist, and in interestingly enough, a specialist in PCI patients. I'm an interventional cardiologist by professional training, but today we're going to talk about an aspect of PCI that I believe many of us don't appreciate as much as we ought to and sometimes, frankly, overlook. Randy, you and your colleagues in the CV Health Clinic just published a fascinating paper examining outcomes of patients who underwent cardiac rehabilitation after their PCI procedure. Can you tell us about this paper and why it's important and why the interventional cardiologist ought to pay attention to it? Yeah, sure. You know, there's a, this concept with uh, PCI that many patients have and perhaps many physicians have that once you have PCI, you're cured. And so we had the, uh, the idea that maybe we should look in to see uh, if after PCI, cardiac rehabilitation um, gives uh, additional benefit and outcome improvement in our patients. So we looked at our patients in PCI, in a PCI database from 1994 to 2008, over 2,300 patients, a lot of patients that have been treated, and were able to follow their outcomes over time based on whether or not they made it into cardiac rehabilitation or not. And by the way, these are all patients who are local patients who we have records for and we could follow long term. Mm -hmm. So what we found was that among the 2,300 or so uh, patients, about 40% participated in cardiac rehabilitation, 60% did not. And among those that did participate, there was a 45% lower mortality rate than those who did not participate in cardiac rehabilitation quite a large impact on mortality. So what we wanted to know also was, well, yeah, that's great, but isn't there a difference in people who go to rehab compared to those who don't? They're I was younger. Just, just going to ask you that. They're younger, they're healthier, and so forth. So doesn't that explain the benefit? Yeah. So there are some statistical techniques that can be applied to help adjust for some of those biases. Not all of them, but the majority. And we did apply three different techniques with the best available statistical techniques we could, uh, could find. And we still found that after adjusting for those potential biases, there was still a 45% reduction in mortality. Randy, that's a huge mortality reduction. Um, do you believe the cardiology community appreciates that in general? Or have we somehow been fo so focused on putting in stents and using medications that we've overlooked the rehabilitation aspects? I, I think it has been overlooked. It may be more uh, a, uh, a fault of the cardiac rehab uh, or profession than the interventional profession because we're all focused on our own areas. But certainly it's been underappreciated for whatever reason. So what would be the mechanism? Uh, is, is there um, uh, the training effect or is it the, the closer follow-up and compliance with medications? What's the mechanism of this incredibly yeah, uh, uh, incredible benefit? So it's, it's a great question. and we, we have some inklings of the answer. And I would say if we could come up with a medication that did the same thing of a 45% lower mortality rate, we would be uh, you know, probably getting a Nobel Prize. But th this, this uh, treatment of cardiac rehabilitation really gives a benefit for a number of reasons. First of all, uh, medication adherence. This is an important aspect, especially for PCI patients, to make sure they're staying on antiplatelet therapy and so forth. And that has been shown in our database to improve by about 30%, adherence improves by about 30% if they go to cardiac rehabilitation. Exercise alone gives many benefits, and people going to rehab are more likely to exercise than those who don't. Now, also, I think an interesting aspect is, besides controlling risk factors better with appropriate medications and so forth, there's better follow-up. So let's say that you're a, a PCI patient, you go into cardiac rehabilitation, and you have some chest pain or you have some recurrent symptoms. In the rehab program, that's gonna be picked up. If you're not in the rehab program, it may be totally missed. And so I think the follow-up is another uh, potential reason why patients do better in rehab. That, that's a great point, Randy. Let me ask you, like any other medical therapy, are there any downsides and is it reimbursed? Uh, it is reimbursed uh, by nearly all insurance companies that I'm aware of, including Medicare and, and private insurance carriers. By the way, PCI was only covered by CMS, by Medicare, uh, as of 2006. So, 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 so rehab that, after PCI was... Yeah, rehab after PCI. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then the other question was about the... Um, 
any, any potential, potential downsides. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the safety issue in rehab is, is quite good. It's a good issue to consider, but safety in, in the cardiac rehab setting is quite good. The event rate, uh, cardiac events, and particularly sudden death during exercise and rehab, quite low, less than one per 100,000 hours of, of exercise, yeah. so quite safe. Randy, one of the things I noticed about your paper is that we have set up an auto, almost an automatic or a protocolized referral over to the cardiac rehabilitation services following coronary angioplasty. In other words, we don't rely on me to remember to order it. Is, yeah. that, a, is that a good way to do this? That's or? exactly uh, yeah. the right way to go. And thanks to you and other colleagues, uh, our surger, surgical colleagues as well, you've been great supporters of cardiac rehabilitation referral over time. So Mayo Clinic, we're uh, at, at least double the national average for participation in rehab. But there are three key things. One is that there needs to be an automatic process in place, as you've mentioned. Uh, if we have to think about it, we're gonna forget it sometimes. So an automatic referral process. Second is to have a person who contacts and communicates with the patient in the hospital setting. So they talk and they say, this is why you should go to rehabilitation. It's important for you. We're gonna help you set that up. The third is that the rehab program itself, the staff in the rehab program, needs to make sure that they contact the patients to kind of ease the pathway for the patient to get there. Set up an appointment for them, help them to find out a park where they need to park, et cetera. Those three things are what we do and other centers do that make uh, the referral much more easy. Randy, this, again, congratulations on a wonderful paper. And if I can summarize for our audience, what this paper shows is that a policy of cardiac rehabilitation in the PCI patient results in better medication adherence, greater surveillance for recurrent symptoms and initiation of further therapies, um, exercise training with its inherent benefits, and if you put all these together, it's associated with a 45% mortality reduction, which is highly significant. And um, Randy, I thank you for your conversation this morning. Uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you. Yeah.